Hello and welcome to my channel, Divinely You. My name is Jennifer and today I'm going to be showing you this beginner eyeshadow tutorial. So today we'll be using the Maybelline Cine Mini Palette in the Downtown Surprise. And it's a fun little coral and brown palette and I thought it would be great for spring and I'm so ready for spring. So hopefully you enjoy this tutorial, especially if you're someone who is getting started with makeup or just feels like you could up your game a little bit with the eyeshadow department. So um, right before we jump into this video, I just wanted to share this quote by Henry Ford. He says, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. So just remember that if you believe in yourself, then you can achieve anything that you dream and that feels right and true to you. I just wanted to encourage you to do something that challenges you every day. So. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. I already did my brows off camera, so now I'm going to go ahead and start with a concealer. So I'm going to be using the Catrice Liquid Camouflage in the shade Light Natural. And I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelids. And the reason I'm doing this is to get rid of the discoloration that's already there. I want to start out with a very clean slate of all one color. Now I'm going to go in with my City Mini palette, and this is in the shade Downtown Sunrise, and I'm just going to be using this base shade right here. They call, they call this shade number one, and I'm just going to be using an all over shadow brush to go ahead and set the concealer. So I'll just be taking that in here like this. Now I'm going to be taking this shade right here, and they call this one of the crease shades, and I'm going to be using this to define my crease a little bit more. So no matter your eye shape, I would say to try and go in right underneath your bone. So if you feel along here, you can feel the bone through your eye socket and just Bring the transition shade into that space. And this is a really light shade, so it doesn't show up a ton, but it's okay. It doesn't have to. The idea is to really be able to transition each color. Now I'm going to go into this um, coral shade right here and put this on the lid. So this is going, I'm just going to use my finger so I can get the most pigment. And if you want to intensify the color even more, then all you need to do is take a flat brush like this. Um, you can tell that it's pretty flat and skinny. So you take a brush like this and you can use water, you can use setting spray, whatever you have. And you just spray it and get it wet and that will amp up the shade even more so you'll see now with my wet brush I'm going in here it just takes the shade to another level and I'm taking this all the way to my crease and I'm just kind of pressing it right along that crease so I don't want it to go up here I'm just keeping it right on the lid so 
Okay, now that we have that on the lid, I'm going to go in with the brown shade right here. And we're going to be using this precision blending brush on the inner corners. And it is a little more highly packed brush, so it's going to deliver a lot more pigment. And so you want to kick off the excess of your brush. And then I'm just going to be taking this on the outside of my crease and on the corner. At first, it might look a little bit harsh, but we'll blend it out. So once I've done that, I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and go ahead and take this in circular motions and just continue to blend it out until it's all the way blended. You never want to have any harsh lines with your eyeshadows. And, you know, because we're doing this first, if you accidentally get down here, it's okay. And you really want to start with a little bit lighter. And then if you decide that you want it to be even darker, then you can do that. But right now I'm just aiming for a daytime look. So I'm not going to worry about it getting super dark. Now to brighten up the inner corners of my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and go into this brighter white shade here. They don't have shade names. And I'm just going to use my finger, put it in here, the beginning of my lid. And that just accentuates the shape of my eye, this almond shape that I really want. So that's why I like to do a really light shade here and then keep going. If you want to, you can also go back in with a flat brush again and intensify the color. And then if it really doesn't seem like it wants to blend, you can use your finger just a little bit. Can you see the intensity is just slightly more on this eye because I used a setting spray. I'm going to go back into this side and match it up. Okay, so here is where you clean up and then you can continue on doing your face and then you'll be able to not have to worry about any fallout that can come from your eyeshadow. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up underneath my eyes like this with a makeup remover wipe. The nice thing is you can just take it and drag it along right here. And then if you accidentally feel like you get too harsh of a line, just use your finger and kind of pat out on the edge right here. Or if you need to, you can go back in with your blending brush that has a lot of the same pigments on it and just blend out that edge just a little bit like that and then you're done now that all the rest of my face is done and my eyeliner is done, I'm going to show you how I would finish off this look. So I'm going to be using the smudger portion of this Eco Tools brush and I'll be going back into the yellowish shade first and I'm just going to use the entire part of this brush and smudge it along the lower lash line. And I'm actually going to take this one all the way up through here. And I'm going to do the same on this eye. Then I'm going to go in with the brown shade, but I'm going to be careful to only get about half the brush. 
and then I'm going to take that along the lower lash line. But I'm not going to take it all the way. This time I'm going to just take it through until about two thirds of the way, maybe a little bit more. And then if you want to take it out like this and then just smudge in the color to make sure it connects right here, that's an option too. Okay, and then all I'm going to do after that is grab my mascara and put that on. So I'll go ahead and do that now. All right, well, that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if it was helpful for you. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!